Hello guys, I'm a little under the weather, but I'm making this quick video, hopefully so you can go to the computer lab and do this gap minder assignment without me. So the way you're going to accomplish that is you're going to log on to the Moodle and go to week 11 and you will see that there's a gap minder activity directions and a gap minder activity. Click on that and it will take you to a quick web page where um, it has a little bit of information about this activity. It says this activity is going to use a Gapminder website to visualize different statistics and how they change over time. So there's a link right there to the Gapminder website. So go ahead and click on that link and this will take you to Health and Wealth of Nations part of the Gapminder website which allows you to visualize different data sets over time. <clears throat> so once this initializes and loads, the first thing you want to do is you want to go over here on the left hand side to learn to select indicators and more. This is a quick two minute video which um, takes you through some of the major ways and things that you can adjust to use this. So you just click on that and it'll bring up a quick little video, a silent video, um, and you can watch that and it'll talk you and walk you through um, how to use this software. So take some time to take a look at that. Then also you can look at the PDF. Um, I'll hopefully include this with your handout. Um, if not, it's available on the web site for reference and it gives you a quick reference to all the different things that you can do to um, take a look at this, these st the statistics uh, correctly and, and use this software. So that's the other thing you want to do. Then you will, <clears throat> if you go back um, to the actual handout, the Gapminder assignment handout, uh, you just need to follow the instructions um, to go through this assignment. Um, since I'm not going to be there, you are going to pick uh, pairs of data sets. Um, there are one, two, three, four, five, six available. So look them over and pick one that you seem interested in and then complete this part of the assignment one, two, and three using that data set and using the um, Gapminder tool on the website and then answer the questions here um, that had to do with the data set that you analyzed. You are first going to make a hypothesis about what you think is going to happen to the data over time and then you're going to actually look at what happens to the data over time. Then um, if you go back to the Moodle website <coughs> you'll see there's a TED video here um, with some with which also uses Gapminder to show some basic uh, global trends in terms of poverty and um, income and longevity and uh, if you have time you can start to look at that that's just a 20 minute video hope that was helpful and hope you're able to accomplish some things and I hope to see you soon thanks